Battlefield 5. Thank you to Lexi for recommending this. If you have not watched my Battlefield 1 video, that one is the tab somewhere. I put it up a couple weeks ago. Uh, I got this recommendation from a comment on one of my poster videos. I can't really remember which, but if you want me to watch something, if we, you want to watch something together, please request it in the comments. The more I see something pop up in the comments, the more likely I am to do it. And if you want to make sure your comment is seen by me, become a channel member. Basically everything that I'm making on YouTube right now is going towards, hopefully in April, changing the title of these videos from non-gamer to a new gamer. So I would like to start gaming. I have a lot of stuff that I need to buy. <laughs> and figure out before then. So if you want to support the channel, please do that by becoming a channel member or, oh, that's Ginger. Ginger? The people I rent from have a dog. <laughs> Where was I? Channel member <laughs> or buy one of my books. I am a self-published author. My novels, Magic Required and Dominion Required, follow the story of a Celtic demigod trying to seek a redemption he is not sure he deserves. Bloodkin and Curses follows a vampire discovering a world she never knew existed while trying to avoid an ancient curse. All three of my books are available as audiobooks, ebooks, or paperback. I am currently working on my third Lachlan novel, so if you have a cool name idea, blank required, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much if you have bought and read my books. Thank you even more if you've reviewed them and if you're just here to watch some Battlefield stuff then uh, let's get into it. Thank you to Austin Remote for sponsoring this video. Austin Remote allows you to control your PC from your smartphone, tablet, from another PC, anywhere, anytime. As you guys know I am not yet a gamer and there is a game version of this software. Austin Remote also offers a lot of stuff outside of just gaming. You can transfer files, print remotely, screen me, Austin also has the smart plug. This smart power plug allows you to remotely turn on and off your computer from anywhere. And there are three versions of this software, free, pro, and game. You can play your PC game on your mobile device with the app using the gaming keyboard. Be it Dota, Minecraft, using this app makes it easy and you can play your game anywhere, anytime. And for the first 200 people who use this code, you can have the game version for seven days free. This game version allows you to customize your keyboard, have a virtual mouse, and it supports up to 144 FPS. That's frames per second, right? F P S. First person shooter? That can't be right. Refresh rate of your display refers to how many seconds per the display, how many? I was right the first time. Anyways, Austin Remote is available for Android, iOS, or Windows. And if you are interested in an affordable remote software, please check out the link in the description and get 40% off the game or pro version with 20% off for two devices and 40% off for three or more devices. Thank you so much, Austin, for sponsoring this video. Okay, back to the other stuff. Oh yeah, and PSA, this is just for fun, but sometimes I like to talk about political stuff. <laughs> I've started opening my videos with that, just to like avoid confusion, even though my comment section is like usually pretty clean. Let's watch, I feel like this one's gonna be so sad. Like the last one was pretty heartbreaking, but I feel like this one's gonna be uh, extra doozy. So I have my emotional support blanket. Okay, cool, we're in Germany. Spring of 1945, oh. Okay, wow. Oh God, I'm such a slow reader, I didn't get it all. Okay, the Germans are not many and poorly supplied. Okay. Ah. Wow. Okay. Oh. The last tiger. I get it. Als ich ein Kind war, oh. wurde eine Gruppe von Jungs im Dorfladen beim Clown erwischt. Mein Vater war außer sich, als er davon erfuhr. 
Aber ich habe doch gar nichts gestohlen. Vielleicht, sagte er. Oh! Aber du warst dort. You were there. Mein Name ist Peter Müller. Kommandant des Tigerpanzers 237. Und ich war dort. Heavy. I think about that stuff a lot, like being on the wrong side of history and then learning and what that must be like and how in obviously a much smaller scale than this, how like cancel culture isn't allowing people to learn from doing something that puts them on the wrong side of history, you know, obviously a much smaller scale, but I think about this a lot. I think about it for myself too, like what beliefs do I hold now that will one day be societally proven to be the wrong side? So bald alles vorbei. Müller! Sagen Sie mir, dass wir Nachschub kriegen. Und einen neuen Funker. Das wäre gelogen, Kerz. Ich lüge niemals, das wissen Sie. Das ist sehr anständig von Ihnen, Kommandant. Tja. Kommandanten können sich es eben im Gegensatz zu fahren nicht leisten. Jeden Mist auf. Random comment, but these subtitles are very hard to read. The light color. It's annoying. So sorry if I pause a lot to understand everything. Zu sprechen, der in den Sinn kommt, Schröder. Ja, Kommandant. Auf Ihre Position. Muss der dir eigentlich die ganze Zeit hinterherlaufen wie ein Streunder und? Er ist noch ein Kind. Dann hast du ihm ja bestimmt die Parteilinie erklärt. Ich habe ihn nur daran erinnert, wer wir sind, Kerz. Warum sprengen wir nicht einfach die Brücke und halten die Amis auf der anderen Seite? Weil wir uns nicht zurückziehen. Wir rücken vor. Was passiert mit denen? Die kriegen das, was sie verdienen. Scheiß Feiglinge. Gemeinsam sind wir stärker. Vergessen Sie das nicht. Were those other German soldiers in that lineup? I missed that. So we are playing as the command the commander. I'm assuming. Statusbericht. Wir werden uns nicht lange halten können. Jemand muss da raus uns einen Weg suchen. Schicken Sie Hartmann. Wovon zur Hölle reden Sie da? Der Mann ist nicht in der Verfassung. Vertrauen Sie auf unsere Stärke. Das waren doch eure Worte, oder? Keine Schwäche, keine Sentimentalität. Oh ja, dort noch mal. Sie sind zu wichtig. Das können wir nicht riskieren. Und ich, ich bediene das Geschütz. Dann mache ich das eben. Nein, Sie müssen fahren. Aber Hartmann, der ist doch eh angeschlagen. 
austauschbar. Uff. Wollen Sie ihn wirklich da rausschicken? Hartmann! Ja? Steigen Sie aus dem Panzer. Suchen Sie uns da draußen einen Weg ins Freie. Ach Gott, nochmal, Müller, nein, der Mann ist nicht in der Verfassung! Bitte, Peter, ich kann wirklich... Raus aus dem Panzer, Hartmann! Ich möchte, dass Sie Ihre Pflicht tun. Und das gilt für jeden hier. I think it's really interesting, like playing on the other side, like playing a game on the wrong side of history is such an interesting thing to think about. Like very humanizing, I can imagine. And still like <laughs> yucky feeling maybe. Like, we're all just people at the end of the day. Okay, okay, okay. And now? Where'd he go? Where's Hoffman? Where's the inn? The desertiert? Das wissen Sie doch gar nicht. Ruhe. Hören Sie das? Also, like our protagonists in this story are little Nazis. Und auf 12 Uhr. Bringen Sie uns raus hier. Können doch Hartmann nicht hier lassen. Oh my god, I wasn't reading the subtitles. Regroup the rest of the force of the cathedral. Okay, understood. Command. Command. German. Oh, okay. So that was our mission. Something about Germany. I have, like, I've, I was a deserter. My German viewers, help me out. Is that the guy? Hartmann? Dieser Idiot! Halten Sie den Mund! Er hat seine Pflicht getan wie befohlen. Seine Pflicht? Nein. Er war ein Verräter. Einer von uns. Fahren Sie weiter zum Hauptquartier. Sind die? 
Wo sind die Verteidigungsstellungen? Kommandant, was ist hier los? Ich werde es herausfinden. Sie reißen sich zusammen, Schröder. Schröder. Bleiben Sie, wo Sie sind. Ich besorge uns ein intaktes Funkgerät. Okay. Man, this is like... Sobald meine Männer... I can't talk at the same time as understand them with the subtitles. It's so stressful. Um, and we only have six minutes left. Okay. There'll be a time for thinking for reassess with the others. I'm just thinking about like how different a story it is from the other side. And it really, just like in the last Battlefield video, it really makes me want to learn so much more about history. This one also makes me want to learn German, but I have to learn French first. <laughs> Whatever language is after French, fine, but I gotta friggin' figure out French first. <laughs> Lage zu bewerten. Das redete ich mir jedenfalls ein. Mm. Damals habe ich meine Lügen nicht erkannt. Achtung! Alle mobilen Einsatzkräfte an der Kathedrale! Verteidigen Sie den Brückenkopf um jeden Preis! Lassen Sie niemanden vorbei! Oh. Verflucht! Sind Sie verrückt? Ruhe! Alle! In Bewegung bleiben oder Deckung suchen! Die Brücke gesprengt. Oh mein Gott. Das weißt du nicht, Kerz. Komm, wir müssen jetzt. Was? Stärke zeigen. Hä? Ärger doch. Sieh dich doch um, Peter. Ach. Gott, steh uns bei. Alles, woran wir geglaubt haben. Alles, was wir dafür getan haben. Es ist vorbei. Nein, Katz. Komm. Tu das nicht, Katz. Peter, es ist vorbei. 
Is he gonna shoot him or something? Or just let him go? I don't... I don't know, but I'm stressed about it. Er war ein Verräter. Kurt! Kurt! Oh my god, the brainwashing. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my god. Like the psychological aspect of that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my. Yeah, yeah, that's a great quote. That's a great quote. Holy shnikes, what a downer of a video. <laughs> I mean, of course, I feel like this kind of historical exploration is very important. And at the end of the day, I really do believe we're all just people. And my sister actually said that to me once. And I don't know if she knows how much that has influenced the way I see the world. But I asked her a question about an experience she had when she was around some like not great people. And I asked what it was like and what they were like and what it like what her experience was and she looked at me and she said, Hannah, at the end of the day, we're all just people. And I think it's so important to remember that, especially now when things are so polarized, so polarized, we're just like yelling at each other from the top of our hills, screaming that I'm right and you're wrong and it doesn't matter what you think. And I, I really try and practice um, going it, having so many conversations and going into them, even the hard ones, the no-no topics, with the idea of wanting to understand and be understood, not wanting to change anybody's mind. Because despite disagreeing with somebody, I think it's really more important at the end of the day that we understand each other and why we do the things we do, because that usually explains a lot. I think that obviously in, in larger world war context, just, I mean, discussion doesn't solve everything, but I think in our context, for most of us, I hope it can. And so I guess that is the thought I will leave you with, that I hope we can all work harder to communicate well, understand each other, and be understood. And with that, I leave you. I hope you guys are all happy and healthy, taking care of yourselves and each other, being friends instead. And as always, until next time, may the force be with you. Live long and prosper. And I'll be back. <laughs>